Are we finally seeing relief on mortgage rates? Hello everyone, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. On Thursday, the CPI report was released showing that inflation slowed down in the month of October. Consumer prices rose 0.4%, which is less than previously expected of 0.6%. Although inflation is still a major threat to the United States, it may be a small indication that the Fed's interest rate hike has started to cool off inflation. The CPI report coming in better than expected sent the 10-year Treasury yield going up, which sent the bond market going down. Mortgage interest rates dropped sharply from 7.22% to 6.62%. Government loans such as FHA, VA, and USDA dropped to the low sixes. This is the sharpest decline that we have seen in rates since the start of the pandemic in 2020. So what does this mean for you? If you've been shopping around for a mortgage, it might be a good idea to lock in this rate now because I think, in my personal opinion, that this slight relief in mortgage rates may be temporary. Even if next month's CPI report comes in better than expected again, we are still a good ways off from the target that the Fed has set of 2% inflation. It is almost guaranteed that the Fed is going to raise the rate regardless of what the CPI report says. Now, the question is, is will they raise it the 75 basis points that they've been projecting since last meeting, or will they ease off and maybe do a 50 point increase? Regardless, there's an increase on the table. Inflation in the past has proven to be a very sticky problem, meaning it's not easy to solve and once it shows its face, it tends to stick around. Now, even though we might be seeing the first signs of inflation peaking, this is a problem that could be around for quite some time. Thus, we should expect to see interest rates remain high for the foreseeable future. Now, as we talked about before, the Fed rate and mortgage interest rates are not directly connected. The Fed rate could go up and mortgage interest rates could remain the same or even go down. There's just an increased probability that when the Fed rate goes up, mortgage interest rates tend to go up. So knowing that the Fed rate is expected to go up, there's a high likelihood that mortgage interest rates will also go up, which is why I'm saying to take advantage of this slight relief in mortgage interest rates and lock in now while you still can. I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you are a buyer in Delaware that is looking to purchase a home, I would love the opportunity to help you. There is a link down below in the description for a one-on-one -on -one buyer consultation with me, or you can send me an email. If you are a seller that is looking to sell in Delaware, I would also love the opportunity to help you. There is a link down below in the description for an instant valuation of what your home is worth. Once again, I really hope that this video helps. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Hey, were you thinking about living in Delaware? Check out this video right here. The good, the bad, and the ugly of living in Delaware. And if you would love to tour Delaware New Construction Homes with me, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.